How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Awilix. Let us joust! And this is one of my favorite maps with Awilix because there's so many spots that you can just like wait behind a wall and get the knockups. And yeah, I mean, this is this is the map that I play Awilix on, so that's always fun. Oh, it looks like I got another star with her as well, so that's cool. We're up against a Hercules, which is a little bit tough. How about a joust to the death? Yeah, fighting Hercules is not great for us, but that's okay. We will survive. Uh, do I want to go blink against Hercules? That's a little bit scary. I think we need beads. If I'm against a squishy god and like a range god, it's super easy to blink behind them and knock them up and they get the ult. But against Hercules, I don't think that's going to be happening nearly as much. If anything, I'm probably going to have to be playing more defensively because of how tanky Hercules is. Uh, but we'll see. I might want to do a little bit of poke, but... I don't know how that will go. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I actually backstepped almost into his ability. He does have mannequins, which is kind of scary. That's a little backstep trick on a Wilkes. You just uh, go forward while they're chasing you, and then you just... Backstep, use a three, and it knocks them up almost every time. It's really good against melee gods. There we go. First blood. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I'll probably be doing a lot more Wilix now that we're back on this map. Especially because every matchup is just so different. It's different against range gods. Different against melee gods. Different against tanky gods. Getting this... this first blood is just so helpful because if hercules got first blood uh i would just be so far behind oh, i was a little bit worried there because i'm using the super loud recall uh let's just get a chalice i can't really afford tier two yotans i don't want to wait in fountain too long and chalice is always a good purchase in duel it's always effective oh i also wanted to take the time to say that a if anyone does it, is watching this and you guys don't know i stream on twitch.tv pretty much every single day except for mondays and fridays if you guys want to come by stream and just hang out uh the main reason i say this is because a lot of people have been coming by the stream saying they had no idea i streamed uh, and yeah i've been doing it like co uh, consistently so yeah i just thought i would throw that out there uh obviously if you're you're not a uh, you don't like twitch then i understandable completely different platform but I just thought I'd, I'd say that in case some people were unaware. I have all that stuff in the description of every video. Uh, looks like he's going Transcendence, which gives him a huge amount of power if he can get it online. I'm also like weaving between his abilities, which is cool. Okay, is this, this isn't up, right? Yeah, yeah, he had it. I forgot. Let's go get XP camp. Just farming effectively right now. On a Willix, you really don't want to leap with Suku very often. It's a lot more useful to just use it for the movement speed than right click to cancel it because you want the cooldown. Um, obviously, that does take a lot of mana. Nice feather step the, the Hercules ability. Don't really have that much mana right now. Okay, so we're just going to. Oh, he helped away. Fair enough. We're just going to back out, out of here. Get that tier two Jotuns, maybe, uh, maybe one ward. I might go for an early Demon King. Uh, a Wilkes can take it a little bit early if she alts for it, but uh, only if I ward. If I don't have the ward, then we could die so easily. If he just walks over while taking it. I don't actually have my two up. Ooh, yeah, I'm immune to that. That's nice. Yeah, ulting there, I don't know if it was that good. I mean, it looks like we are going to make him lose some XP and gold. Or just gold, I suppose. If I can knock him up again, we can kill him. So I'm going to try to angle myself to get behind him. Maybe beats that. Oh, just barely. And I, I don't really think I should die for that. I'm very squishy right now. And going kill for kill right now is not good. Not diving tower. That's not the hat master way.
he's probably gonna finish on up that transcendence which is just fine and dandy i am uh running a little bit low on the mana department for now we do want to get our build with other items that way we don't need to worry about that um such as hydras hydras is pretty good on the well because i don't build it every game but it's pretty good all right we could go into brawlers because it's hercules but i want jotuns and into breastplate first uh this is because i want to get yeah actually no no hydras this gives us max cooldown and honestly against hercules i want as much like pan as possible rather than like uh hydras burst i guess so we're gonna go jotuns into breastplate into brawlers i could have also went brawlers first because hercules has a lot of healing but since we're ahead, I figured we can push the snowball a little bit by going Jotun's Breastplate. I think if I was behind, I would go Brawlers instead. There's that Transcend. So he's going like a late game Herc build. Usually when I play Hercules. Uh, I go that build sometimes, but only... Not the mannequins, but only if uh, I'm trying to go for the late game. Oh, my dead. We're good. I didn't have the reaction time to beat you. Whoa! Oh, I missed that. Feels bad, man. If I hit that, that would have been so cool. Gonna place a ward. So I know where he is. Oh, I didn't even hit him. <laughs> That's so funny. I couldn't tell because of the wall, and I guess I couldn't see numbers. There's actually a trick. With the Wilkes, if you hit your three, you can look for the numbers, and if the numbers go up in the sky, then obviously you hit the knockup. But I guess I, I couldn't really see it too well there. That's okay. I'm like playing this super risky, but also I don't know. My three two will kill him, but then I don't know if I'll have enough mana to actually leave. All right, this is fine. This is fine. I'm already, like, two levels ahead. Like, usually I play way more risky on a Wilix, but it's like there's nothing really to gain from diving him and trading kills, right? Like, if we trade kills, if anything, that's super good for him. He'll get so much XP and gold uh, because of how ahead I am. The worst thing that we can do is actually trade kills. Now, if I dive and I have a way to guarantee I get out, then that's different. Like, if I had enough mana for three abilities, then I could go in, use my 3-2, and then leap out. And I would live. Oh, uh, it didn't knock up. That's okay. Okay, that's his ultimate. That's fine. Might do the back step here to knock him up. Nope. Leap out, because I don't want to get pushed. We're kind of low health. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, and that's an early surrender. And you know what? You guys know how it goes. Uh, with the past few few times I've done this, if they early surrender, we just do multiple games. I think that's great because I wanted to do multiple games with the Wilkes anyways. So I'm going to jump into the next one. And also, like usual, uh, here are the stats as well. Oh man, what are the chances that we're up against Ymir? This is this is a matchup that I've played from both sides. And quite honestly, I'm going to go transcend this time, by the way. Uh, quite honestly, I think it's a little one-sided. And I think that a Willix pretty much takes it. Unless I mess up a lot. And it's a very finicky matchup. Because essentially, if I have good reaction times, which generally I don't. Uh, I should be able to feather step every single freeze he throws at me. And if I can do that, Ymir really doesn't have too much. Like, he can, like, use his two, I guess. He can use his ult. But those were a lot easier to juke if I don't get by the freeze. And not only that, um, I can just leap out of the ult, right? Or feather step the ult or, you know, uh, I have more ways of getting out of that. I'm going to start at blue buff also. But, yeah, I, I've played this from Ymir's point of view, actually. And I was against the Willux. Uh, that essentially went bubble with upgraded beads and I could just never get her. She was just so hard to catch. And I think that's what's what could happen here as well. 
Of course, uh, if I'm attacking the wave, he, I am vulnerable to a freeze. But, who knows. Oh, he missed. Good. Don't get hit by that. Good. Get some damage in. Try to body block a little bit. Good damage. His freeze is probably going to come up in a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is this is just it's it's one of those rare matchups that I know like super rare like you almost never see this but it's just uh Again because I played it from both sides a couple times. I just kind of know know how it goes um Like you would think if you were a Ymir and you loaded in against the books, you know an assassin It's like oh this will be this will be easy. I can kill her super quickly, but uh no it, it gets a it gets a little bit finicky Yeah all right, we're going to back, get upgraded, uh, or tier 2 tr transcendence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beats that. I didn't get the knockup. That's okay. Leap out of this so he doesn't get the full damage. All right, we're good. If I got the knockup there, might have been able to actually kill. But I still have my ult, so I'm not I'm not recalling now. Oh, I didn't, I didn't have the reactions there. I was supposed to have the reactions, but alas, I did not. Please don't get your freeze. There we go. Of course, if he did get his freeze and he tried to turn around, I could have uh, leapt like immediately to immune it. But uh, that's, I don't know. I feel like I'm a pretty decent player, but my reaction times are just not great. Uh, it depends. I'm, I'm very inconsistent, but that's okay. It means, hey, if someone with better reaction times ever learns about this matchup, they, they know what to do. I think the best thing Ymir can do, because I also like thinking from the other side, right? The best thing Ymir can do is go, like, pretty much a full auto attack build. That way, if you don't hit your abilities, you still have something. Yeah, it's just so good. It's so good. I'm sorry, Ymir. Place a ward. If I go bubble, it gets even even tougher for him. Ah, uh, that was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. I had exactly one HP. Okay. Bye bye. Unless. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he is blink now. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go Genji's cooldown is everything in this matchup. With this, we've already got 20% cooldown for the late game. 30% uh, once we get Power Potion. We just need 10% more. Hydras, I think, would be fine here. Uh, just because we are so far ahead and I don't know. I think it works pretty well here. I think Hydra's is fine We can go for an early Demon King pretty soon Yeah, you can immune every freeze man every freeze if you've got the reaction time all right, let's go for Demon King. I have my ward. I'm feeling pretty good. He's kind of poked out. Now, I'm not going to say this matchup's impossible for you there. It's just if the Wilkes knows that she can immune every single freeze, it does get a little, a little difficult for him. It does get a little difficult. Well, why am I missing all these autos? Oh, he's gonna freeze me. I, ha 
I had to feather step there because yeah, I was just gonna die to his autos. That was dumb of me, but that's okay. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, I I wanted to save the feather step for the leap there, but uh, again, um, I just had to use it because I was I was too low health and I was gonna die either way, so I had to kind of chance it. Could have also tried to stay. Well, no, usually against your mirror, when you're juking the freeze, you want to stay right next to him because it's really hard to hit the freeze right next to him. But uh, I can't do that if I'm low, like two auto attacks away because then I'll just die to the autos. And that's exactly what you should be doing as your mirror too. Instead of just trying to wait for the positioning and trying to uh, land the freeze when they're right next to you, instead you just keep autoing and poking them down and actually get something out of it. Oh, he's waiting for me now. He's waiting for me now. <laughs> he's getting patient. This is okay. He he's 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 understands it now. If he waits, it does get a little scary for me to be so close to a Ymir uh with with my beats down, you know? Cuz again, Ymir has big damage. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen on the challenge um, on my challenge on my channel. Excuse me for misspeaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I didn't have... I pressed two, but it was a little bit too late. Fortunately, taking huge damage from that. We are at 500 health. Um, a quick freeze and auto attack two could kill us. Understandable. Have a nice day. Finish Genji's. Shoguns could also be good in this matchup, I would say. Just going a little bit of auto attack. We'll, tri we'll probably transition more into auto attack later in the game. Um, another thing is we might want like an Aussie. Something to keep us healthy. Because if we're low health, it doesn't matter how many times we can leave the freeze. He can just kill us with uh, with that other stuff, right? And he is kind of out sustaining us with his Bancrofts. Did get red buff again. That kind of sucks. I couldn't uh, get my feather step. I hadn't been next to him yet. Or I wasn't right next to him. Ah, oh, he saved it, man. He didn't freeze. How do you have such patience, you bear? Even I don't have that much patience. You might blink on us, but I have beads. So. Yep, there it is. Beads? I really gotta save the feather step for when it's obvious he's gonna. Ooh! Oh my goodness, I was so, 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 so close! And credit where credit is due, this Ymir has adapted fast. Because again, what are the chances of having this matchup? It's very, very rare. So, chances are it's his first time fighting Wooks, but he's adapted fast. Holy moly, I can't even take tower. I really wanted tower, but... Uh, his link is down. So, I'll, I'll kill a couple minions, but we do gotta... We do gotta skedaddle, if you will. Looks like he is going some auto attack. He's going a pretty pretty standard Yumir build, I would say. Like a good a good one. Oh, is he's go is he going for Demon King? I need anti-heal for his brawlers. I think uh or excuse me, I need anti-heal for his bankrofts. And I'm going to build brawlers. I'm sorry if I misspeak about things, you guys. Uh I try my best to say the right things, but sometimes in the video, uh, like people will say, oh, did you mean to say X, Y, Z? And it's like, probably, <laughs> probably, probably just misspoke, but uh, in my head, I meant to say something else. I do like having our food here. Now, I can't feather step unless I, I've actually hit him with my three or I've auto-attacked him. 
So when I'm at medium distance and I'm not near anything, it gets dicey. Like right now, it's kind of a dance of I need to have my feather step ready. Okay, that's good. I tried feather stepping there, but I wasn't close enough, even though I could have. Ah, oh, I didn't get it off there. Nice. There we go. I mean, the ultimate. I kind of waited until it was like charged to the point where if I feather stepped, no matter when he used it, uh, I would have been okay. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to risk it, man. I think I could take that tower, but um, we're just so low that Ymir can kill me pretty easily. Alright, let's back. Game Brawlers, he's got Demonic. Um, we could go Hydras. I was talking about Hydras earlier. I think it's a decent pickup right now. Uh, we could also start thinking about an Aussie for some lifesteal. You did get horrific, but that's okay. Usually you want to save your second relic so that your opponent can't get horrific. But my ult is it actually gives slow immunity. I'm pretty sure it does anyways. And it also gives... Uh, I also have beads. So him getting horrific, not terrible for me. Uh, but yeah, usually you want to save your second relic so your opponent can't do that. That freeze looked like it should have hit, man. Yeah, and again, the horrific doesn't do anything. You don't need help. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's take this tower. And we can probably take Phoenix as well. I'm just gonna leap here. Usually I don't, but get a, like, a couple more autos off. Nice. I will say, if you're playing a Wilkes from behind, uh, fighting fire minions is really tough. Um, it's just really difficult to deal with. He is right behind me. Okay, we're good. I was looking at the mini map for stuff like that to know if we can recall or not. An upgrade, I definitely need it. And now let's buy. What was I buying? Aussie. I don't get Aussie too often, or I generally life steal in, in general. I don't get too often. Uh. I think here it's good. I think here it's good. Because I need to be, like, kind of high health in order to do my feather steps. Otherwise, I just get slapped by the auto attacks. Plus, force him into some anti-heal, I suppose. I do have Blink here, but I don't think it's worth using if he's at full health. He's kind of too tanky, where we can't really kill him. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that you can use the feather step after the three or the one. You don't have to actually auto attack them. If you use your three and you damage them, you'll actually notice they get marked and you can feather step over them so that you can get cool stuff like that. Like one thing I might try to do here is leap in, immediately use the two. His freeze is still up, but I have uh, beats. All right, nice. I didn't get to do what I was trying to do, but that's okay. I was trying to use the leap and then have him try to freeze and immediately feather step. Like, you don't even have to do an auto attack, but oh well. And I'd say those two games combined, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I am more than happy to play more Wilkes if you guys want to see more. Uh, just feel free to ask. Uh, and yeah, I, like I said, every matchup's different. So whether you're against a hunter, you're against a mage, you're against a warrior, against some guardian, it's all a little bit different on a Wilkes. So yeah, good stuff. Also, look how close I am to Masters. Uh, I, ha I had an incredible stream yesterday where I was just winning a ton. So good stuff. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, here are the, the stats. I almost forgot.